I hope we don't get interrupted, but my buddy over there, it's a ball time. He's been hollering. Why are we playing ball? Well, we are probably going to have to end up playing ball in just a few minutes. But right now, we got something to share with you. If I can get this camera to, to do what I want it to do, we'll give it a try. But I got the stuff ready right here, just in case he gets noisy. And I suspect he will. Y'all know this is a world famous Stava scoop built by Roslyn, Odessa, Ukraine. This is the V5, the lightweight scoop that he makes. Not very good for damp sand or water hunting. It's just light with dry sand. That's what he says anyway. I had three of these. But I've had a lot of them over the years. This is the one I use most all the time now. It's the uh, M9. It's got the bigger, thicker piece up here. Or digging in the rocks is what I like. 32 millimeter pipe. Both of them have 32 millimeter. He makes them with 30 millimeter, makes them with 32 millimeter. One of the nicest scoops I ever used. Well, as you know it, this scoop can be made even better. Now, how can you make a stop scoop better? I like wooden handles because it makes the grip better. Got a fiberglass one in this one with uh, shrink tubing on the outside of it. And tape underneath there is just to give it some little gripping area. I thought I was in love with the, with the uh, shrink tubing. But if you used it every day after three or four hours, it's hard on your hands. Well, November the 7th of this year, in this tube right here, some of y'all saw it yesterday, is the greatest improvement to a Saba scoop that's around right now. Or to any scoop. Carbon fiber handle. Four foot long. Specifically designed for the Stava Scoop 32 millimeter pipe. You can see it's been ground down just a little teeny bit. Got the 70 degree angle cut on it. The inside is filled with ABS plastic tube. Now, I don't know how far it runs up in there, but from feeling it, you can feel it. I think it runs up to about right here. Feels like it does. It's glued in with two part aircraft epoxy. Chuck says you can drill through it like this and put a bolt in it or do anything you want to do. Now what's different about this carbon fiber handle than some of his other ones is, of course the diameter is a little smaller, but it's got texture. I'll have to get it closer so you can actually hear it. It's got, you can grip it better. It's a two millimeter wall thickness on this. If you can see it, the wall thickness is two millimeters. Of course now you have to realize this piece has been 
ground down just a little bit so it would fit the snugly in the 32 millimeter pipe for the stoboscoop. Two millimeter wall thickness. That's pretty damn thick, I can tell you. The greatest thing for scoops since sliced bread. Got his little normal waterproof plug on the top with the marker in the back. You always know where the back of your scoop is. The only problem is, I don't have a scoop to put it in. All my, I could take this wooden one out, I guess. You remember the uh, 75 degree bracket that I had the handle broke off in, right? On the new titanium scoop? Because this bracket now is, is stainless steel. I may put it in it. I sent this back to New York along with the uh, titanium scoop and it had a hole drilled in it. So if the scoop handle broke off again, I can just knock it out from the bottom. If I were to stick this in here, it fits almost perfectly in length. But you can see it's loose. I have to build it up with some tape. And I may do that just to use it. Or I could take that wooden one out with some great effort and use it. I'm thinking. I don't know how I'm going to use it. I just want to make you aware of it. It is available. It is for sale. You can see it's tapered right here. You can listen to the texture. Listen. It has texture. You can grip it. Oops. Hello. Two millimeter wall thickness. Okay. That's that. No, oh, let me tell you some more. It's a... Uh, same price as all his other carbon fiber shafts. But some of y'all are going to gasp at this price. It's uh, $159. Whether you get this model for the stop scoop or you get the ones that fit his stealth scoop. $12 shipping. So it's $159 plus $12. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. In his catalog or his online, if you go to his site, you know, Sunspot Tooling or Stealth Scoops, it's uh, marketed as a S31. He calls it order code, S31. I don't think a person in the detecting business that hunts a lot could go wrong with a handle like this. But that's just my opinion. But I am going to buy another one. Not this month, but next month. Okay. See you later.